Professor David Stuckler here, Fast Track grad. The most powerful tool to improve your writing now. I'm gonna share it with you today. This tool has helped hundreds and thousands of students unlock their writing because simply our universities don't teach academic writing. It's one of my favorite things to do in my courses is to ask my students, hey, show of hands, how many of you have had any formal academic writing training? Silence falls on the classroom. Maybe one student, hey, where did you get that training? It was back in high school, actually. And this really is a tragedy because one of the most translatable skills you acquire as an academic, whether you go down a research path, you go into industry and do something else, is the ability to communicate and articulate complex ideas in a clear and accessible way. It is like having a superpower when you can do this and will really set you apart from others. But a tragedy because, again, it's just you're expected to figure it out and you're thrown off the deep end. So I'm gonna teach you about this system today and it is going to change forever the way you think and write going forward, whatever domain you're in. So the core of this system, it's not some fancy AI gizmo, it's just a tool called Peer. And Peer is, I sometimes refer to as a hamburger model because it's shaped in the structure of a burger with a bun, lettuce, meat, cheese, good stuff inside, and another bun. And this corresponds to Peer. Peer is the point, it's the main point that you're trying to make. E is evidence or examples followed by another E of explanation. And then your last bun down here is an R, which is a repeating or linking point to create a flow to your, your next section. So Pierre is really describing the anatomy of an effective academic writing paragraph in which each paragraph makes that one big point, known as the one point rule. One point, the P, or sometimes the first sentence of the paragraph, the topic sentence, and then follows through to the rest. So. I think it's easier to show you rather than tell you. So what I've got here is I'm gonna pull up uh, just a recent paper that I found on Google Scholar to illustrate a couple paragraphs where you're going to see this in action. So I've got this paper pulled up, just came out at, at the time of making this video a moment ago, and I just wanna highlight a, a paragraph right here. Let me zoom into it so it's a little bit easier to see. And this paragraph here, will put in action what I'm saying. So your topic sentence, the point of the paragraph is right here. And it's basically saying, hey, despite widespread and free availability of vaccines, the US is lagging behind. So if you're a reader, you're going through this quickly, you are making it easy for your readers. They're gonna have a tough time misunderstanding what you wanna say because you've laid this out very clearly for them. Never mind, this has some extra commas and clauses which break up the reading cell a little bit. The point of this paragraph is clear. So you already know what that paragraph is going to deliver. Well, this paragraph is now gonna tell me how the US is lagging behind. And exactly what is next in our beer system? That was the P. Now we've got the E. And it says here, as of May 2023, only about 70% of the U.S. has completed their vaccine schedule. So that you can see how naturally and, and simply that follows when you follow this method, that uh, your example just directly is kind of the ammunition in your literature review or whatever point you wanna make to back up the point of the paragraph. Then we go straight into the explanation. Okay, well, why? Is, what's going on? This lag in vaccine intake is, is, is happening for a number of reasons, and they start to speculate that, which then leads to the final linking uh, sentence at the end here, say that it's associated with law so different concerns about pharma, medicines, and so forth. And that's gonna flow right into the next paragraph. You can see this is why it's a repeating or linking because this then flows into this next paragraph saying these are the these concerns and it flows right into the next. So guys, that is in a nutshell the peer system. What do you think? Can you use this in your writing right away? One good test I sometimes offer my students is what I call the skip test. You should be able, if your writing is clear and effective and following the one point rule, be able to bounce from one paragraph to the next, just reading the top sentence and be able able to follow a clear structure and outline and understand where your reader, you're taking your reader and where you're going in your writing. Trust me, if you put this peer system into practice, you are going to unlock new levels in your writing and write with ease and confidence. If you want more tips like this, definitely give me a like, subscribe, join my exclusive Facebook group where we can be in touch directly and we do lots of live workshops where we roll up our sleeves, apply these principles and edit your manuscript and documents together. See you there.